Lady C warned the palace about Meghan's wicked plot to hurt Kate on William's 41st birthday. She's an opportunist. Prince William's 41st birthday is next week on June the 21st. This is his first birthday under the role of Prince of Wales. Kate is organising a special birthday surprise for William, an intimate party with friends a source exclusively tells us weekly, adding that the celebration won't be an over-the-top event that costs a fortune. According to The Insider, the couple are focused on being low-key with a trip to the coast together. The source also notes that the prince has no big hang-ups about turning 41 because he looks at every passing year as an achievement in his life. With William's birthday looming, the palace is concerned about the stunts Meghan and Harry will pull to distract from his day. Lady C reveals that the Harkles' money is on that they will resurrect that nasty rumour that William cheated on Catherine with a friend Rose. They have zero proof, but that hasn't stopped them before, and no one has asked with how the media sides with Harry, why has no proof ever been put forth? Because there is no proof. Alternatively, something about William losing his temper to remind people of Dog Bowl Gate or maybe another death-defying car chase in a traffic gridlocked city. Meghan never misses a chance to attack Catherine. I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled some stunt against Catherine close to or on William's birthday. Or we could see them use their go-to favourite tactic, false race-baiting accusations. Just to wait and see, as soon as Meghan moves on with another husband, she'll lose all interest in the royal family, and then William and Catherine will be free to go about their business. Harry at that point won't have the gumption or intelligence to troll the Waleses, because Meghan was the reason it was happening in the first place. Without her fueling his grievances, he'll go right back to being the dutiful son and brother. However, in fact, the Sussexes can't overshadow Prince William, who's the Prince of Wales, heir to the crown, of no other than the United Kingdom. He's right now one of the most influential and powerful men alive. Recently, William's role in the royal family is further confirmed in the upcoming Trooping the Colour. On Saturday, the Prince of Wales led the final rehearsals for Trooping the Colour, his father King Charles's birthday parade taking place on June the 17th. The event will mark the first time King Charles will be feted with a public birthday celebration in his reign, continuing an annual tradition for British monarchs dating back to the 1600s. Prince William rode on horseback to carry out the colonel's review, ensuring the troops were ready for the main event. He wore the Guard of Honour order complete with a bearskin cap, tunic, garter, sash and sword. Although Prince William has sported his red uniform on a number of occasions over the years, including past Trooping the Colour events, there was a recent change to reflect his new role. While the Royal previously was the Honorary Colonel of the Irish Guards, he's now the Honorary Colonel of the Welsh Guards, and his uniform was changed slightly. On the neckline, the previous symbol of a shamrock for the Irish Guards was replaced with a leek, one of the Welsh Guards' motifs. In addition, Prince William sported a white and green plume on his bearskin cap for the 2023 Colonel's Review, a change from the St. Patrick's blue plume associated with the 1st Battalion Irish Guards worn in years past. Prince William was named the new Colonel of the Welsh Guards, fitting with his title as the Prince of Wales. King Charles confirmed the royal title, the traditional name for the heir to the British throne, for his son just one day after his accession. Prince William also wore the royal ciphers of both Queen Elizabeth and King Charles on his shoulder for the Trooping the Colour rehearsal.